Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the John Dellenbeck Dunes Trail and the Oregon Dunes. The John Dellenbeck Dunes Trailhead is located about 20 minutes north of North Bend, Oregon on Highway 101. There's a 2.7 mile trail which leads all the way out to the beach and then a short loop around the Eel Creek Campground. Since this trail is part of the U.S. National Forest Service, you will need a $5 day pass in order to park at the trailhead. Further information, including maps, can be found at the USDA website. I'll provide a link in the description below. When I first got up in the morning on this day, I didn't initially plan on doing a hike, but in the afternoon, the weather turned so nice that I decided to make a trip out to the dunes. Since there's no backcountry camping on this trail, and it's relatively short, you can wear whatever you would normally wear in this kind of weather. Um, I happen to be wearing just a pair of khakis, a button-down shirt, and my trail runners. Um, also, I have a backpack with a liter of water in it and my camera equipment. Other than the dunes, one of my favorite parts about this hike are all the manzanita bushes around. This bush is fairly common and native to the western United States and Canada. In the video, it's tough to see how bright the red bark is, so I put this picture in so you can see what it looks like in real life. After hiking on a shaded forest trail for a few minutes, you'll see a small sign indicating the way to the sand dunes. Right after the sign, you'll come across this scene right here. When I first did this hike, it seemed really strange to me to be hiking through a pine forest and then suddenly see sand dunes everywhere, but it was just a small taste of what was to come. The trail then crests a small hill and suddenly it feels like you are in another country. The forest disappears and there is nothing but giant piles of sand as far as you can see. You can venture off onto the dunes, but if you want to stay on the trail, there are a series of small posts that mark where it goes. There is really no other way to show the trail, because even your footprints are blown away only a few minutes after you leave them. Close to the forest part of the trail, there are some patches of tall grass that dot the landscape. But as you venture forward, all vegetation is left behind, and there are only massive piles of sand all around you. I got this shot here so you can see how huge some of these sand dunes really are. Venturing off the trail to climb the sand dunes is really fun and a little exhausting, but because of how uniform the landscape is, it can sometimes be a little hard to find the trail markers again if you aren't careful. In this shot here, you can really get a sense of how vast the landscape feels. In total, the dunes part of the trail is only about a mile and a half, but while you are hiking it, it seems like an endless desert. Way off in the distance, you can see that the trail leads to the Pacific Ocean. On the day I shot this footage, I did not have enough time to make it to the beach and get back to the car at the trailhead before the parking lot closed. But I have a couple of pictures from when I did the hike the previous summer that'll show you how the trail ends. After the dunes section, you will hike along the edge of the woods and eventually turn and head into this forest tunnel. In this section of the hike, there will be dense brush, bridges over swamps, and level walking the entire way. After about a quarter mile in the woods, you will come out at the edge of the Pacific Ocean. I particularly enjoyed this part of the trail because it ends at a beach where there are no other public access points, so it feels like you are the only one there. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or leave a comment. There will be many more videos coming in the future.